The play that I discuss in this module is The Ecstasy of Ritajo, written by the Canadian playwright George Riger. George Riger is a Canadian playwright. He is a regular contributor to Canadian television, drama and radio. He became famous as a controversial political playwright. He is a writer with a strong political consciousness and is strongly influenced by communist ideology. He always had the sympathy for the native Indians in Canada who were treated as outsiders. He belonged to the dominant white culture but proved himself different by writing from the viewpoint of an aboriginal. The play The Ecstasy of Rita Jo tells the story of native Indians in Canada who were exploited by, by the white authority. It is the story of a young aboriginal woman named Rita Jo who comes to city to find freedom from the limitations of the reserve life. But she was imprisoned and brutally murdered in the city. The ironical title of the play conveys the spiritual thrill the protagonist enjoys by refusing to succumb to the temptations of charity doled out by the philanthropist. She also refuses the service of the defense lawyer as she very well knows in advance the futility of the gesture shown towards her. The play begins with a court scene where the protagonist Rita Jo is brought in front of the magistrate for interrogation. There is a series of charges against her like prostitution, vagrancy, assault, theft, etc. Through her character, the playwright reveals the story of Aboriginal people who struggled to live in the white dominant city. Rita Jo came to the city from the reserve to find a better way of life. But the things are different in the city and there is no one to acknowledge the presence of native Indians who come to live in the city. They are not given employment opportunities and they suffer from unemployment and poverty which leads to prostitution, theft, drug abuse, assault, vagrancy, etc. The court and the police act as repressive apparatuses in the case of native Indians. The statement made by the magistrate at the beginning of the play turns to be quite ironic. He says, the quality of law under which you live and function determines the real quality of the freedom that was yours today. Your home and your well-being are protected. The roads of the city are open to us. So are the galleries, libraries, the administrative and public buildings. Nobody is a prisoner here, but the reaction of Rita Jo to this statement made by the magistrate turns the situation ironic. She says, the first time I tried to go home, I was picked up by some men who gave me five dollars and then they arrested me. The laws in the city do not help the people who come from the city. She and her friend Jamie Paul were brutally murdered at the end. This shows the inefficiency of the legal system of the country which fails to protect the life of the people. As Rita says, you brought rules here that was made before I was born. I was hungry when I stole something and I was so lonely when I started worrying. George Raika, influenced by the communist ideas, speaks for the proletarians. There are institutions like church, school, etc. which act as ideological apparatuses and they play their role in making the native Indians feel inferior to the dominant class. The words of Rita Jo reveal the role of church. She quotes the words of her uncle, Banjo. Long ago, the white man come with Bibles to talk to my people who had the land. They talked for hundred years. Then we had all the Bibles and the white man had our land. Rita Jo was asked to bring witnesses to give testimony to her character. But those who came give false testimony to her character. Her teacher in the school club described Rita Jo as a disruptive influence in the school. According to her teacher, she never tried to transform herself during the time of her education. School clerk also complained about her character, who became a school dropout. Mr. Homer is a socially responsible man who works for the benefit of native Indians. But both Rita Ju and Jamie Pohl turned against the offers of charity. So they were able to realize that charity is a sophisticated way of keeping them under control. When we analyze the play, we can see that institutions and educational system 
actors, ideological apparatuses through which the natives are always kept under control. Thank you.